they say who scored, he did get transfer business earlier in the summer. A lot of your rivals are not there, you know, they're still tweaking the scores, bringing players in and letting players go. How much of a joy is that for you at this particular stage of the season? There's so many other tracks. <coughs> If I had, would feel joy in that, then I would deserve the injuries we have, to be honest. Um, so it's not that I, I, I couldn't, I'm not so careless as a rival, but I, I, I follow, I see it when they do something or not or whatever, but um, I'm most of the time the last to get the information, to be honest. So it's like, and no, there's absolutely no joy in or whatever that they still try and the other teams are finished as well and finished the business as well. Um, nothing to do with us. I cannot. We cannot increase the rhythm or, or or find money because other teams sign players and we say, oh, now we have to do as well because they signed him. We now need him. We have to be completely independent of whatever, whatever, whoever is doing. And um, we are. Uh, we try to solve our situation, which is difficult enough very often. Um, but. It's our situation, at least. That's the only situation we are influential, and um, that's why it's the only one I'm concerned about. Can I ask you about Darwin? Because um, there was a stat during the week that he was the fastest player in the Premier League last weekend by quite some considerable distance. Was that uh, an attribute that you were aware of? Yeah. That, that yes. Was in the first place? And were you surprised by how quickly? No. You? No, that's a. Uh, uh, before you sign a play, you get a few informations. One of them is the speed. So um, and. No, I was not surprised. He's quick. It's good. What's the inevitable comparison to being made with Arlen Nunes already? It's, you know, how many goals they might score, how good they're going to be for you. Is that something that, we don't know Nunes yet, but is that something that motivates him or is that something that he'll put to one side and just concentrate on the team? I think in the moment, not at all. If there would be a situation at the end of the season, to the end of the season, it's about goal scoring, whatever, it could be. I don't know Darwin good enough yet, but in the moment he is just concerned that he uh, can score for us and or set up goals for us or whatever. I don't think they have, they have a, a real look already that Mo would look at that or I don't see that. It was always clear that Haaland at, at the city will, will work out. It's a, it's a, it's a chance-producing side and he's a finisher. So um, it was always clear and that's why it's not a surprise whatever, but we try to make sure that that our our football, um, the football idea we have, that it's obvious again and then consistently all the time, because if we can do that, it's still very uncomfortable to play against us and that's really my first concern, that that happens again, because from there we can then start thinking about uh, twists and tweaks and how we can do this and how we can improve there but now it's the first thing that we really bring in the intensity and then um, we will be fine Just one more on that, do you, do you set him up uh, in your own mind, have you set a goal, goal target for him or have you discussed that or was it just a question? <laughs> no, I didn't, of course not No Thank you Thank you